Water is a continuous cycle. It's not surface water separate from groundwater. It's not rainwater separate from stormwater. It's all integrated, it's all water. So what we do on the land is gonna affect both surface and groundwater. So we really need to look at these as whole systems and not individual little pieces that are, that are in separate boxes because they are all connected. Even though we have a constant amount of water, the water use and water demand in the past has been much less than it is today. We're simply reaching the point where we can't think of only the pieces, but we have to think of the whole system and look at how we can gain the, the, the maximum benefit by managing water in a holistic rather than a piece-by-piece -piece basis. We're concerned about the sustainability of, of our water supply system in the metro area. We aren't managing our water supply as sustainably as we could be. And there's a lot of ways to solve this. There are multiple different solutions and it won't just be one, but I think we need to start thinking more about viewing water as an asset, as a resource, not as a problem. This is a concept that we really need to start thinking about, how we treat this as all, all of it as one water. Most people understand the basic natural water cycle pretty well. They understand that water evaporates from rivers, lakes, streams, and the ocean, condenses to form clouds, and then comes back to the earth as precipitation. I think what people don't understand is that natural cycle is not separate in any way from the water that we use. The water that we have now is all the water that we've ever had on the whole planet, and it's all the water that will ever be here. And the water that we use and reuse, the water that we pollute and the water that we clean, is all a part of the same natural hydrological cycle. We remove water from the hydrological cycle to use it, and then we clean it in our wastewater treatment plants, we release it back into the river, it becomes part of the natural cycle again. Water is important, of course, to everyone, and our core purpose here is the planning in an integrated way. We collaborate with partners in, in cities, in state agencies, in the university, and in the private sector to try to make the best outcome that we can for the region and improve that over time. The metropolitan area is, uh, is one of the areas, few areas in the United States that has plenty of water. Although it's plenty, uh, it's not limitless. The challenge is how to balance having enough plentiful, high quality water, water supply, and at the same time being able to maintain our ecosystem, maintain our lakes, maintain our uh, water features that provide the quality of life that define us as Minnesotans. We are extremely lucky in this state in particular and in this country for sure that we can turn on the tap and get fresh drinking water and nobody blinks an eye. Why we want to look at this as a whole system is because water crosses all these boundaries. We monitor on streams in the metro area to understand how pollution moves from the landscape to the large rivers in our area. The pollution that runs off of our urban landscapes or agricultural landscapes flows through streams, eventually makes its way to the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River takes it all the way to the Gulf of Mexico and it becomes part of the dead zone off of the coast of Louisiana. Our Twin Cities metro area pollution is directly connected to shrimp farmers in Louisiana. We created a, a, an open dialogue for, with uh, different partners in the region and building on this uh, collaboration and open dialogue. I think in the future we're going to have uh, better management strategies, better manage, uh, planning for our resources, and we'll achieve sustainability uh, for many, many generations to come. How can we as a community use less water? How can we use water more than once? Gray water is an example of that. If you've got water that um, is used for washing dishes, or if you've got storm water that you can collect in your yard, maybe those things can be used for a different use, to water the plants or water the lawn. I'm very optimistic for the future of water in the, in the state of Minnesota, and especially in the region here in the metropolitan area. There is this excellence 
sense that you see in Minnesotans that they want to do the right thing. They want to, to, to maintain the quality of life for many, many gener generations to come.